Hej, hej, hello, siemaneczko wszystkim, z tej strony Power, witam was y, ponownie w Falloutie. Minęło jakiś tydzień od ostatniego filmu. Baczcie, naprawdę, ja nie wiem, strasznie nie, nie, miałem, nie miałem czasu weny. Nie wiem, jakoś tak po nowym roku mi się wszystko trochę krzyżuje i, i jest nie tak, jak, jak powinno być, ale... Taki mały szczegół. Dobra, idziemy do Virgila, nie opierdalamy się dzisiaj. To ma znaczenie. Jaką pomoc? Kate mi pomoże. Ha, ha. Kurwa, no to ma tyle rzeczy, co mi są ewidentnie potrzebne, ale nie będę mu tego kradł, bo się wkurwi i mnie zabije. Czy nie no, zabić by mnie chyba nie dał rady, bo... Mm, jak dobrze pamiętacie, wyskilowałem postać na maksa i w tym momencie... <śmiech> jestem dosyć, kurwa, twardym ziomkiem. <śmiech> Widzicie, tutaj normalnie jest radiacja powyżej 16 i no, chodzi bardzo szybko. Na mnie to tak, o, plus jeden radzik. Ogólnie to nie powinno mi to za dużo robić, bo z tego co wiem, mam gulowatość. Yy, I tak, no, kurwa, porozmawiać z nimi, czy nie? Poczekajcie chwilę. Okej, okay. no oczywiście, no nie, 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 ja, nie, ja nie mogę tak nagrywać, żeby mi ktoś nie przeszkadzał przecież, nie? Eee, dobra, ja tu mam zbudować coś ogólnie. Mam co, ale nie wiem, ja najbardziej chyba lubię minutę manów. Eee, no już. Przeniosę się do krypty, nie wiem dlaczego, ale zazwyczaj jak jest quest, to ja nie mogę się przenieść kurwa szybką podróżą tam gdzie chcę. God damn it. A we są Taylos. Hmm. 
Hmm. Ok. Tak więc. Eee, dobra, to tędy trzeba jakoś przebiec chyba nie. Tam moja prawie niezniszczalna śladiacja schodzi od słońca. Eee, piękne życie. Czy powinna schodzić od słońca, ale... Nie wiem, czy tak się dzieje w tym momencie. Wiecie, nie zamierzam gadać z trasą czy z blasą, bo trasa raz, że jest jakaś dziwna. Brastwo jest w ogóle pierdolnięte i szajbnięte. That's some bad business. Even for them. We'll give you whatever help we can. Don't worry about that. Now, assuming you could build this thing, what exactly does it do? The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. This machine can hijack their signal and send me instead. Teleportation? For real? That would explain a lot about how the Institute manages to operate. If anyone can make heads or tails of those plans, it'd be Sturgis. I haven't found anything yet that he couldn't build or fix. Sturgis. Sturgis. Gdzie jest Sturgis? Chodź no tu, ty stary dziadu. Wybacz się, że takie moje małe zacinki, ale musiałem jeszcze oczywiście w międzyczasie napisać SMS-a. Ja mam ostatnio tyle rzeczy na głowie, że ja tego nie ogarniam. Nice to meet you, Sturgis. Preston thought you might be able to figure out these plans for me. Sure thing. Let's see what you've got. Here you go. Wow, what a mess. Looks like encrypted RF transmissions. Okay, so that gets routed through. What the hell? Teleportation. This is some pretty crazy shit. You sure it's for real? It's real. I got it from an ex-institute scientist. Seriously? I didn't know you could be an ex-institute anything and still be breathing. Anyway, the eggheads never think about the nuts and bolts of actually making something work. But, uh, looks like it's all here. Yeah, I'm gonna need some time to study this thing. The handwriting's pretty hard to make out. But uh, you can get started on what he calls a stabilized reflector platform. Uh, it'll need some pretty high-grade metals, but it's basically not that different than the lining of a jet engine or something like that. Good work, Sturgis. Well, don't thank me yet. I think I got the gist of it, but it's going to take some time to work out the details of some of the hairier sections. Here's a list of what you'll need for the first piece. I'm pretty sure we've got all that at Sanctuary. If you want to build it there, while you're working on that, I'll get busy figuring out how to actually build the rest of this thing. Keep in mind, I can already see this is going to take a crazy amount of juice. Like if you had a spare nuclear reactor handy, we could probably use it. <laughs> and it's going to be big. So find a nice open building site with lots of power available. Hmm. Dużo plac budowy, dużo plac budowy. Gdzieś to miałem takowy nawet chyba przygotowany. O, no, tutaj zobaczcie, jak pięknie. Dobra. To zabieramy się za budowę. Ej, a co ja tu mam? Halo. Kogo ja tu mam oznaczonego? A, dobra. To tylko mój ten. No. Stabilizowana platforma refleksyjna. Gdzieś by ją tak, nie wiem, ustawił w ładnym miejscu, na przykład tutaj. No to można łączyć. Ej, patrzcie na to. No dobra. Co teraz? Sturges? To już postawiłem. Tak, znowu do Sturgesa. Carry 
case and how's it going valuable gear you find loving. a good spot to build your signal interceptor yeah ready to build the rest of it good I think I got a handle on this crazy contraption at least as much as I can tell well, until we actually try to build it here's a list of three things that may be harder to find I think I'll be able to pull together everything else we're gonna need I'll meet you over at the building side and see if we can actually make this thing work Thanks, Sturgis. I'll get right on this. Good deal. One thing to keep in mind while you're building this, it all needs to be wired together so all the pieces can talk to each other. I'll see you over at the building site. Good luck. Nie, budujmy dalej. Kurwa, budowanie tego ustrojstwa może być dość, kurwa, mm, że tak powiem, e, co to jest? To jest, a, a nie, to jest a, artyleria, to nie. E, antena przekaźnikowa, to. Wow, to jest duże. No dobra, zbuduj. E, tak, antena przekaźnikowa, gdzieś tam, niech będzie skierowana w tamtą stronę, nieważne. No i jeszcze kunsula. No dobra, to tak wiecie, tak profesjonalnie gdzieś tu. <śmiech> dobra. To wymaga 2, to wymaga 5, to wymaga 20, czyli 27 prądu mi potrzeba, co? Dobra. To produkuje 3, to produkuje 5, to produkuje 10. Czy ja ile tego mogę zrobić? Tego mogę zrobić 11, czyli postawimy trzy takie. Gdzieś tutaj najlepiej. Elegancko, teraz wszystko trzeba podłączyć ze sobą, co? Mm, dobra, wyszedłem z tego. Eee. Dołączmy to. Połączmy je ze sobą. Podłączmy to tutaj. I podłączmy to tutaj. Wszystko działa. Zobacz co powie Sturgis. O. Sturgis. Everything looks good on my end. You ready to see if this thing actually works? Ba, jaszka. Let's do this. You sure? Okay. Your part is simple. Just step onto the platform. I'll start scanning for an institute signal to lock onto. Then I fire her up and we see what happens. Dobra, ale to tak już muszę wejść, czekać, ja chciałbym jeszcze tak, Kate. Mm, wezmę to wszystko od niej, wypierdolimy to wszystko, wiecie, gdzieś tu we warsztacie. Ja muszę tam iść, także. Mm, schowaj wszystkie śmieci. Mam coś jeszcze niepotrzebne? Raczej wątpię, dobra. Ja z tą maszynę zostawiłem tam. Kurwa, no przejdź przez to, boże. Dobra, idźmy na tą platformę. Nie, on coś jeszcze musi powiedzieć? Poczekajcie chwilę. No i przeszkadzają, no. I'll start scanning for an institute signal to lock onto. Then I fire her up and we see what happens. No, ja mu nie dałem chyba dokończyć kwestii wtedy, bo tam sobie spierdoliłem. Dobra, zobaczmy co się będzie działo. Kate, nie denerwuj się, ja tu wrócę. Będę cię pieprzył. Nie no, żart. <śmiech> Kate jest dosyć fajną followerką. Bo nie robi zbyt dużych problemów. Większość rzeczy jej się podoba. 
I don't want any corruption of the molecular beam. I, uh, by the way, I figured this was a golden opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute and what they're up to. Yeah, th this holotape's all set with a program that will scan their network and download anything it finds. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, we better hurry. And don't worry about that tubing wiggling around. It's, uh, just there for decoration. Jak mnie pociesza. Okej, okay, dobra, widzę jakieś czerwone grobki. Już? Okej. Okay. Okej. Okay. Where I am? Boże, jaki ten instytut. Nie był taki, wiecie, inny, ale. Ktoś mi tu mówi hello. Wait a second. Dobra, mam nadzieję, że 15 minut czasu to już mi kurwa dadzą. Kapsle, oczywiście. Człowiek i instytucja, co? To mi każe go skorzystać z tego terminala, ale to nic kurwa nie ma. Wykonywanie założeń misji. Ostatni użytkownik. No to nic nie. Zdecydowanie. Co mam zrobić? Stabilizę. No halo. Tu nic kuchwa nie ma. Może od tyłu, od przodu, nie wiem, no od boku. Błąd sygnał przekierowany, no i... Dobra. Mm. Włóż holotaśmę skanującą do terminalu Instytutu. Aha, dobra. Czy ja mam taką holotaśmę? Oto jest pytanie, co? E... Holotaśma... No kurwa, no nie mam. E no halo, czy ja czegoś nie dostałem? Patrzcie, no to jest krecia robota, to jest... Ale on mi nie dał tego. Halo, ej. Czekajcie, mogę ja się teraz... Teleportnąć? On, on mi nie dał żadnej holotaśmy. Gdzie nie jest dostępna szybka podróż. Dobra. Jebać to, to jest jakieś zadanie dupo poboczne. Robimy tu, idziemy do windy i chuj. Widzicie, wychujali nas. Miałem dostać holotaśmę, jakąś nic nie dostałem. Jak to zablokowane? Gówniany kombinezon. Eee, krzesło. Dobra. To jest winda, rozumiem. Ej, ona sama jedzie. Halo? 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 
to the Institute. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. Oni są pod ziemią, ja bańca. As you've seen, things above are unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, hmm. very personal reason. You are here for your son. Kurwa, zjechaliśmy na dół po to, żeby wjechać w górę, no. Iś, kurwa, no. Nie wiem, otoskop, jaka penseta dziwna, ej, halo. Jest jakiś dzieciak, mogę do niego wejść? Nie mogę. Mega klucza, radio, nożyczki, folder, to mi się chyba nie przyda. Nie wiem, klucza, serio. No i co ja teraz zrobić? Halo? Really you. Who are you? Sean. It's me. I'm I'm your dad. Father, what's going on? What's happening? Sean, you're not hurt, are you? What's going on? Father? Father! It'll be okay, Sean. I'm here now. I don't know you. Go away. Father. Father, help me. There's someone here. Help me. Who is Father? Where is he? Father? Father, help me. He's trying to take me. Father? Father, help me. Was kurwa, Sen? On się świeci? Sean. Nie, dobra. S923, recall code Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am father. Welcome to the Institute. Father? That's your name? Your title? Father is my unofficial title. It's what I've come to mean to the people of the Institute. Just as... As you mean to your son. To Sean. I'll make this very simple. Where is my son? He's here. In the Institute. Closer than you think, but I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you after all this time. It's me. I am Sean. I am. Your son. How is that even possible? I know this is a lot to take in. In the vault, 
You had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the sun. You'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reason. Sixty-eight years later, we got away. Raised by the Institute, and now it's Lita. But why? Why take a child? Why take you? Ah, now that's the question, isn't it? Why me? At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production, but it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. Human synths? Really? Human-like synths. A great distinction. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course, but it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary, but then the Institute found me after discovering records from Vault 111, an infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. And you... you've been down here the whole time? I have. Yes. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Kellogg. He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an Institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. Hmm. <clears throat> Quick save. <laughs> you knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? <laughs> Would you have preferred that I turned him loose on the Commonwealth? At least keeping him on a short leash kept the collateral damage to a minimum. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. What else can I say to ease your mind? Your mother. She never got to see you grow up? Yes. What happened to her was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems her death was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. Collateral damage? Is that all she was to you? I forget that it's been such a short time for you. I don't have any direct memories. And I've had my entire life to cope with a loss. Has it always been easy? Of course not. 
But I've done my best to move on and live my life. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation, and that was that. With old age comes regret. And asking what if more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind? So you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It really is humanity's best hope for the future, no matter what those above ground might think of us. But, Director? Why you? I was the most qualified for the position. Obviously. I've lived my life within these walls. Dedicated to science like every other member of the Institute. My hard work has paid off. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. I know there's more for us to discuss. But the Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? You want me to stay here? In the Institute? Yes. That is what I propose. Is it so hard to imagine? The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. I don't know what to do. I realize that. It's why I'm trying to help you. I hope that you can see that rationally. The Institute is the only thing left in the world that is worth being part of. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interest at heart. Will you take that chance? <sighs> I just don't know. Just give it time. Give the Institute a chance. The Institute is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the division heads, Dr. Fillmore in facilities, Dr. AO in SRB, Dr. Holdren in bioscience, and finally, Dr. Lee in advanced systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them, and then we'll discuss what comes next. Okej, okay, dobra, widzę, że mam poznać ludzi z Instytutu, czyli tak jakby kolejną po prostu frakcję. No i mogę łasić po Instytucie w tym momencie. Dobra, fajnie, Sean jest kurwa starszy ode mnie w tym momencie, znaczy wygląda starzy i nie, dla mnie czas się oczywiście zatrzymał. Eee, dość ciekawie, co to kurwa jest? Dziwna maszynka, jakiś chyba mikroszko czy coś. Dobra, mm, zakończymy sobie tutaj. Także dzięki wszystkim za oglądanie. Mam nadzieję, że Wam się podobało, chociaż ogólnie <śmiech> większość odcinka to było gadanie z postaciami, ale spoko. Czasami, czasami tak po prostu bywa. No kurwa, nasz syn jest ojcem Instytutu, no ja pierdolę. Dobra, tro trochę o tym wiedziałem, bo widziałem kurwa spory spoiler na kwejku i to mnie wkurwiło, ale chuj. Yy... Dobra, zakończymy sobie tutaj, także dzięki jeszcze, raz, dzięki jeszcze raz wszystkim za oglądanie, mam nadzieję, że Wam się podobało i do zobaczenia w kolejnym odcinku. Trzymajcie się, bye bye.